Greetings, YouTube. This is Terry coming at you with a tutorial on Second Life. This video is for the new people out there that are uh, either considering jumping into Second Life or uh, already in Second Life and needing help with the mechanics and stuff like that. For the for purpose of this video, I have done a number of things. I have loaded the original default Second Life viewer because that is what the newer people are going to be using because they're not aware of the better viewers out there yet, like Firestorm or Singularity. Um, I use Firestorm myself. I just think it runs a whole lot smoother. Uh, I also reset the cache, which means everything in Second Life is loading the first time. So everything may not look pretty at first. It may take a while to load things. Like, that's a staircase right there. But you wouldn't be able to tell because it looks like uh, debris. It looks like crap. There. Now it's a staircase. But yeah, that's Second Life for you. Everything takes a while to load. Um, I'm going to teach you new people how to use pose balls. These pose balls are everywhere in Second Life, and different pose balls do different actions. You never know what they're going to do until you try them, pretty much. Uh, this one right here I got uh, as a pop for an animation. You right click on it and then you left click sit here and you sit on the chair. And it looks like I am eating popcorn if I had a bag of popcorn in my hand, which it also comes with that. Uh, it's in my inventory somewhere to get out of bag of popcorn from my app car to eat. And it's got a female uh, pink pose ball for a girl to sit beside you and me and my love sit here and watch movies together on our Second Life TV. It's quite nice. That's another thing I need to teach how to use the toasts. Toasts are these menus that pop up when you left click on certain objects. Uh, toasts are basically menus. And we got a menu up here. It tells you how to work the TV. Uh, you can also ignore uh, messages and stuff. Like, if you didn't mean to click on a menu, you just click ignore. Don't click block, because if you block it, uh, it's a hassle trying to find how to unblock it if you want to use that item. I don't really see a purpose for blocking objects, because uh, I, I don't see, I, I just don't see why you need to. I just don't click on it if you're not going to use it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh, we have other pose balls over here. Slow dance. They usually tell you what they are above the pose ball. The males sit on the blue pose ball, and the girls sit on the pink one. Uh, the menu for the default Second Life viewer is messed up, in my opinion, because uh, I, I don't like how they have the word use here. It always used to be the, the word sit, because that's what you're doing with the pose while you're sitting on it, so to speak. So this may confuse a lot of new people, because if you're using Firestorm, 
the option to use closed balls is sick. And so a lot of people will tell you to try sitting on it. And you'll be like, uh, there is no sit button. Where, where, where do I, how do I sit on it? Well, with the Second Life viewer, you have to click the word use. And that will put you on pose ball. And if I had a partner here on the pink pose ball, the animation would begin. And to get off the pose ball, there should be a word down here that says stand. You just click on that. And you stand back up. And you walk around. Can you see my colorful properties? Okay, and now I'm going to teach you how to use a menu at a club. Where are my landmarks? Go to one of my favorite clubs, I Industrial Green. As you can see, everything takes a while to load. It's usually not safe to walk around uh, while you're loading because while you're walking around, it is loading constantly new files. So the more you move around, the laggier your computer is going to be. It's not good, really. I'm only doing it for the purpose of trying to speed this video along because I don't want to keep you guys too long. I know you have lives out there. Uh, let's see. I am not familiar with this viewer. I use Firestorm, so I had to remember what the camera controls were pop up that window and I use this down arrow to tilt the camera upward to see a blue dance ball. This is how you dance at some clubs. Some clubs have a hovering ball like this. It may look different but often it is a huge dance ball like that. And you click on these hovering dance balls and a menu asking you to animate your avatar will appear in the top right corner of your screen and you want to click yes because you want to dance and then another menu will pop up and you choose what dances you want to do if you have a partner you click couples and two pose balls will appear beside you, like the ones we saw from my house. A blue one and a pink one. Or you can click single and it will give you a list of different dances. This is an industrial dance club, so the dances are all uh, industrial related. I myself like to just choose the dance all but because that will make it cycle through all the dances automatically and I don't have to choose any more dances. And there I go. I'm dancing. Now to stop you just click the stop button and that'll stop your character from dancing. Or you can uh, not worry about stopping and just keep dancing and click the ignore button and then you'll disappear. But you'll be dancing and then stop until you log off. Unless you go back to that blue ball.
That is how you dance and stop dancing at a club. I hope this video was useful to you. Click subscribe, like if you want uh, to learn more. I should be making more tutorials in the near future. So if you have any questions, comments, or whatever, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, Give me a thing right now. Take care and have a great day.